breast cancer has, has affected uh, everyone out here in one way or another. Uh, we know it's the most commonly diagnosed cancer among women and second leading cause of uh, cancer-related death amongst women uh, only after lung cancer. Uh, one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. Uh, breast cancer is rare in men, but still uh, very real, even with some of the men we know and love here in Columbia. Uh, the American Cancer Society predicts that over uh, 10,700 uh, deaths from breast cancer in 2019 alone. That's why we know it's so important for us to come together on days like this, come together as a community, as civil servants, as healthcare providers, as families, a company to recognize the service of so many that's personified in uh, the person of, of Isabel Law. Uh, she worked to fight the disease. It's so amazing talking uh, to some of the ladies here and say, I'm one of Isabel's girls, uh, to uh, spend time with some of her childhood friends who've been with her since uh, kindergarten and, and realize that this amazing woman touched so many people over the course of her service before she went on to glory. Uh, we have the pleasure of having two of her daughters here with us today. I want to take a, a moment uh, to recognize and bring up Tamara and Monique Law. This is uh, an honor. This is a blessing. Uh, this is just an unbelievable testimony to who our mother has been. Um, she, I was just telling someone that um, she would come home in the evening uh, and be tired and spent. She gave everything she had to, to beat this disease on behalf of other people and to share in their recovery and in their um, uh, life. And so I just want to uh, thank the mayor, thank everyone out here uh, who came and who continue in the struggle against breast cancer. And uh, we just want to, uh, again, just thank you for coming out today. I also want to recognize uh, Sarah Sinclair. She's the manager of Prisma Health Breast Center. Uh, she's going to uh, close us out with closing remarks. I uh, want to take a moment to um, uh, read the proclamation and, again, thank our members of City Council and others for being here. really want to thank our incredible employees. Uh, you know, job does not dictate who you are and what you do. A title is just a title. Uh, uh, being a mayor or city council person doesn't make you a leader, and the jobs that we do don't dictate who we are. But these types of opportunities, you really see what people are made of. And the men and women who came out here at the old dark 30 uh, <laughs> to uh, help uh, pull together this day, but also over the last several months have been working to plan this. Just want to say thank you to you uh, for, for your service to, to these incredible uh, women and men that we're recognizing here today. Whereas October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and whereas October 18th is National Mammography Day, and whereas for women in the U.S., breast cancer death rates are higher than those for any other cancer besides lung cancer, and whereas breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer among American women besides skin cancer, and whereas about one in eight U.S. women will develop breast cancer over the course of her lifetime, and uh, um, a, a, a significant number of males will also be diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, whereas early detection through screenings and, and mammograms is vital to breast health, and whereas Prisma Health Breast Center in Columbia performs an average of 40,000 mammograms per year and launched the first mobile mammography program in the state in 1988, and whereas Isabel Law was the first breast health nurse navigator in our community, and the mayor's Isabel Law Breast Cancer Breakfast honors her legacy, now, therefore, uh, be, it be it resolved that I, Mayor Stephen K. Benjamin, uh, do hereby declare October 11, 2019, as Breast Cancer Awareness Day in the city of Columbia. Now, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce and recognize uh, Sarah Sinclair, the manager of the Prisma Health Breast Center, and obviously, uh, this event and tomorrow's amazing events uh, would not be possible without the leadership of our friend Sam Tenenbaum, the president of Prisma Health Foundation. I would like to thank you guys on behalf of the Breast Center at Prisma Health. I didn't personally know Isabel, but I can see and hear about her legacy all the time. 
Um, it is very important that we all are aware of breast cancer, and I'd like to invite you all to get your mammograms as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.